We physicists have waited a hundred years since 1916 for this photograph. The James Webb Telescope has been a source of excitement for scientists and astronomers since its launch. Despite being only in its third year of service, it's already observed various aspects of our vast universe and uncovered new phenomena since reaching its cosmic destination. Its infrared observatory has offered scientists and astronomers breathtaking views of the cosmos. And as the largest and most powerful space telescope ever built, researchers eagerly awaited the first scientific images captured by the telescope. However, its recent image has left the scientific community in shock and silence. This jaw-dropping discovery was made by the JWST after it turned its instruments towards the iconic Pillars of Creation, located approximately 7,000 light years away in the constellation. It seems what is uncovered in this mysterious location has since left scientists struck. The Pillars of Creation is part of the Eagle Nebula, large clouds of gas and dust that were initially photographed by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1995. However, the James Webb Telescope's new photograph revealed even more astonishing details. Stars that were previously unseen in the Hubble image sparkled in the image, some having formed just a few hundred thousand years ago. This discovery marked a significant scientific breakthrough. Scientists marveled at these extraordinary findings, and a thought crossed their minds. What if these structures were actually the result of intelligent creation by extraterrestrial beings? The telescope turned its attention to Pandora's Cluster, a region of space with a fascinating history, named after the mythological figure from Greek mythology, Pandora. She is known for her inquisitiveness, and she's believed to have opened a container that released all the evils and hardships into the world. The telescope focused on a specific area, using Albert Einstein's theory to describe space, which he proposed in 1915. This resulted in a stunning image that astonished scientists. With this new image of Pandora's cluster, previously known as AEL 2744, it revealed unseen details in the region. While the Hubble Space Telescope had only studied the central core of this space, the James Webb Telescope's infrared instruments exposed a wealth of hidden secrets waiting to be unraveled. The team of scientists working on the mission soon realized that they were on an extraordinary observation mission. Using the Webb's large telescopes, near-infrared spectrograph, and near-infrared camera, they conducted a series of meticulous observations as part of the ultra-deep near-spec near-cam observations for the Epoch of Rayonization program to capture a comprehensive view of Pandora's cluster. The team applied the JWST by taking four snapshots of the area and skillfully stitched them together resulting in a breathtaking panoramic image. This remarkable image showcased an astonishing 50,000 sources emitting infrared light and unveiled the true essence of Pandora's cluster, located around 3.5 billion light years away. Clusters of luminous white light shimmered, surrounded by an ethereal haze. These were the distant galaxies of Pandora's cluster, much farther away than the foreground star. While our highly advanced technology played a crucial role in capturing this stunning celestial sight, astronomers also relied on a natural phenomenon proposed by Albert Einstein in his groundbreaking 1915 work on general relativity. This theory of gravity, known as general relativity, played a vital role in unraveling the mysteries of the observed cluster of clusters. But this was only the beginning. Beyond the awe-inspiring discovery, the James Webb Telescope encountered another perplexing phenomenon almost right after this one. Likewise, it defies every scientific explanation scientists could think of. It discovered yet another intriguing image that clearly depicted a series of mysterious and concentric rings encircling a distant star. Since this image arrived here on Earth, scientists from every corner of the world have been left puzzled. This enigmatic image was shared on Twitter by a citizen scientist named Judy Schmidt swiftly igniting a flurry of comments and bewilderment within the online community. The featured star, known as WR140, stood surrounded by regular ripple-like circles that gradually dissipated into the cosmic abyss. However, what seized the most attention in the image was the fact that the circles did not exhibit perfect roundness. Instead, they were somewhat square-like, stirring theories and speculations about potential alien origins like Schmidt. 
140 additional shells could be seen around this star via the Webb's mirror imaging. These shells, which appeared as red, curvy, and boxy. Typically, young stars shine brightly in a vibrant blue hue. However, as stars age, they undergo changes and develop a redder glow as they consume their fuel and cool down. The deep fields observed by the Webb displayed reddish dots that were 50 times more massive than galaxies previously known. Surprisingly, these galaxies were estimated to be as massive as our own Milky Way when the universe was only 3% of its current age. Astronomers plan to focus the telescope's mirror on these galaxies again in the near future, but this time it'll be to obtain light spectra. The experts at NASA believe that the spectra would help reveal the light source's chemical composition and physical properties. It's also expected that the spectra would play a crucial role in determining the precise distances to objects in space, which in turn will provide essential information about their identities. But what's even more fascinating is that just over six months after the release of the initial observations from the Webb telescope, scientists found themselves compelled to revise their theories about the early universe. It turned out the JWST was actually a telescope. By scrutinizing the light emitted by these galaxies, astronomers concluded that they were observing the universe in its infancy, a mere 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. The existence of such early galaxies is not surprising, especially as astronomers anticipated the formation of the first star clusters shortly after the universe emerged from its dark ages, a period characterized by a dense fog of hydrogen atoms. However, the size and age of the galaxies discovered in the Webb's images have caused a stir among scientists. These findings contradict existing notions about the appearance and evolution of the early universe and defy previous observations made by the less potent Hubble Space Telescope. The Webb likewise captured another stunning image of a cosmic hourglass surrounding a young star in the Taurus star-forming region. A dense cloud of gas and dust called L1527 has hidden this magnificent scene from regular telescopes, only visible in infrared light. The cosmic hourglass became an exciting target for the near-infrared camera for Webb astronomers, who continue to find this discovery confusing, but view it as an opportunity for further research. Observations may also shed light on how young stars mature into adulthood. The Space Telescope Science Institute in Maryland, which operates the JWST, expressed that this is a significant breakthrough for the scientific community. Moreover, it has recently provided scientists with the best view of Neptune's rings and moons for the first time since the Voyager 2 spacecraft flew past Neptune on its way out of the solar system in 1989. Researchers can observe the faint dusty bands of Neptune's icy rings. Heidi Hamill, a planetary scientist at the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy, expressed excitement about seeing these features in infrared for the first time. What astonished scientists even more was the discovery of additional rings around Neptune that had never been seen before. Even Voyager 2's close-up visit to the planet didn't reveal these faint dust rings. The first image unveiled previously unknown rings, expanding our understanding of Neptune's ring system. In contrast to the characteristic blue color associated with Neptune, the image captured by the JWST didn't showcase this hue. The absence of blue was intentional, as the first observed Neptune in near-infrared light. Methane is present in Neptune's atmosphere and absorbs light strongly at these wavelengths, causing the planet to appear somewhat dark to the JWST, except for the areas covered by bright, high-altitude clouds. Another remarkable feature in the first image of Neptune was a series of bright patches in the planet's southern hemisphere. These patches represent high-altitude clouds that reflect sunlight before the methane in the clouds absorbs it. The image captured by the web likewise revealed fascinating and never-before-seen details about Neptune. A distinct band of clouds at high latitudes encircling a well-known vortex in Neptune's atmosphere. Additionally, a faint line of brightness encircled the planet's equator, providing a glimpse into the global circulation of Neptune's atmosphere, driving its winds and storms across the icy giant. This finding demonstrated the telescope's remarkable capabilities. The JWST images also offered a glimpse of seven of Neptune's moons with a special focus on Triton, the largest moon. Triton appeared as a bright point of light, standing out against Neptune's dark methane atmosphere. Its brightness was due to a frozen layer of condensed nitrogen covering its surface, 
causing it to reflect approximately 70% of the sunlight it receives. Triton orbits Neptune at a distance 30 times farther from the Sun than the Earth, making it a relatively close celestial neighbor. Although Neptune might seem distant, it is just a cosmic stone's throw away when compared to the stars and galaxies billions of light years away that the JWST is designed to observe. This underscores the telescope's purpose to explore the far reaches of the universe while still providing valuable insights into our own solar system. In addition to Neptune, the JWST also captured a mind-boggling image of the Tarantula Nebula. The telescope revealed thousands of young stars within this stellar nursery using its high-resolution infrared instruments. These stars had never been seen before, astounding scientists. Furthermore, the JWST's remarkable efficiency enabled it to detect gas, dust, and even distant background galaxies within the nebula. The intricate details unveiled by the telescope depicted the Tarantula Nebula, also known as 30 Doradus, as resembling a burrowing tarantula's lair lined with silk. It is located 161,000 light years away in the Large Magellanic Cloud, the brightest star-forming region closest to our Milky Way, captivating astronomers who seek to understand the process of star formation. Numerous scientific studies have since come forth to express their fascination with the intriguing glimpses of bright and dark areas on Titan's surface. In another groundbreaking effort, Connor Nixon, an astronomer at the Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, made arrangements to dedicate 15 hours during its first year to study Titan. Nixon's team specifically wanted to investigate Titan's atmosphere, map the distribution of haze, and discover new compounds. Excited by these discoveries, the team wanted to monitor the clouds and understand how they evolved. But these scientists are not finished exploring the observations yet. They've identified the clouds in the images captured by a near-infrared camera, allowing them to separate Titan's lower atmosphere, aiding in mapping the presence of various compounds, including a particularly bright spot over the moon's south pole. The JWST is now scheduled to focus its attention on Titan again in June of 2023. This time it will employ its mid-infrared instrument to refine further scientists' understanding of the chemical makeup of Titan's unique and hazy atmosphere. The James Webb Telescope has absolutely amazed us with its mind-blowing pictures, and scientists are convinced that this incredible telescope holds the potential to uncover a plethora of new and exciting discoveries in the vast expanse of space. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, the James Webb Telescope promises to unveil mysteries that have eluded us for centuries, opening doors to realms of knowledge that have remained hidden until now. Thank you for watching.